Hey everybody, it's your boy Warfare Nine here. That's right, it's your boy. All right, and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a simple two by six and upward, like so, like two by six and beyond to pretty much infinity door. That's really compact, really simple, and I think you guys really like this design. So let's go on ahead and get into this, y'all. So what I got here is uh. 2x6 door because I didn't want the basic 2x3 because my entrance was going to be pretty big. So that works really nicely. As you can see, it operates really nicely. And uh, I want to basically be showing you guys how to build this simple 2x6 door and a little beyond. I'll be showing some mechanics in the game. So let's go on ahead and get into that. So if I go here, so you can see. So we're going to start off with the basic one. So right here we have the basic. 2x3 compact door that everybody knows and loves for redstone. And so basically, we turn stuff from the pressure plate. Pressure plate can be really be anywhere as long as the redstone signal extends. It's really simple. All you do down here is just create a little wiring system right here. And then put down it. And then you got the blocks in the center. And you step on it, it pulls it back. So that's really simple. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be showing you guys how to build today. And there's like two different sides. I went ahead and showed this. So you can either uh, do this one where you, it's basically the same thing in the beginning. But then it's just slabs that go across the top to power it up. And on this side, it instead you go around and hit a target block. And basically it operates the same way. It still opens that door completely, which is really good. And then lastly, if you want to go crazy and you had a super large base and you want to have this magnificent, amazing redstone door, this one will be a little bit wider uh, because of these two blocks sticking out on the end. And they can go either way. They can go on the back or they can go on the front, depending on how you look at this. And you step on that and this whole thing opens. It's pretty crazy. It's really simple and uh yeah, so I'm basically be showing you guys how to do that. And on this, if you did want to go up a sort of mount because you can't go up forever because your redstone signal eventually dies out, usually around that stage, all you would have to do is uh put down this little section with a repeater down and uh Whetstone piece right there so it can power that block and then you would have to hard power this block right here to power those pistons That way the re repeater uh, extends the whetstone signal length And then you can keep on going and then after a while probably like getting close now you would want to replace it Do another one of these right here So uh, that's pretty much it guys. So let's go right ahead and get into this and now normally as you know you would have to probably make this one more block right but it's still a super compact design it's not going crazy because either way you would have to put some blocks unless you want to show the redstone like right here in order to uh, keep it hidden so uh, let's go ahead and get into this amazing fabulous delicious redstone tutorial and I'm just going to be building it right over here so full saw for the 2x6 design uh, you're going to just go up six blocks with the sticky piston and make sure you got one, two, three, four space in between them for your blocks to go in between because this goes out one block and then there's another block right here for your actual entrance. So basically that will push that heel and it will pull it back when you step on the pressure plate. So let's go ahead and go up six blocks right there and then you want to do the basic uh, this will activate three of them right here. Loop, loop, loop. That way that activates. And then you can have this whatever amount you want. Here, I'll go and show you guys that real quick. So if I, and it should work either way. Let me go and do that. There we go. And then you just put whetstone down here. And make sure that connects both of your pressure plates. And then you just go back one with the redstone trail to whale. It still it like hits that piston through the b block. So whenever you go and step on it, which 
let me go ahead and fill this in and you won't see any of this when you step on the pressure plate and you do not want to put a block heel or else you'll cut off the whetstone seal so you can go ahead if you get a pressure plate which I'll go ahead and get it can be any pressure plate you choose bam bam and then if you you can also put a back heel or if you really want to you can put it all the way up in the front up to you I'm gonna go ahead and put them back here because right before I enter like a base or something, I want to make sure I can see it. So that's just the basic two by three door design. Uh, and then if you want to go up, all you would have to do. Sorry about the flashing, cause I had night vision on because it was dark. Uh, but if you want to do that, you would just go over. And now it's it's cheaper probably to use slabs over glass, but over here you can cause just need a block that can that's transparent because glass it can go through because it's transparent, and slabs have that half inch space where it allows it to go through the redstone signal. So you can either do it either way. I find glass easier to place down, but also uh, it's more expensive. It'd probably be easier just to do the slabs, which I'm gonna do on this build. So all you'd have to do is that, and you basically put the uh, glass in the same block. So if you're going to do glass right here, you just put it right here, and it would still work. But you're going to do that, and then you want to go ahead and come on over again. That, 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 and you can also, like I said, have possibly tall block there. Well, not right there, because it would cut it off at the bottom, probably. But uh, you would do that, and then you do the same thing on this side. That way it keeps going back and forth, alternating. Bam. And uh, that that's it guys. That's how fast and easy it is to build it. It's really simple. Bam. You just go through like that. Works really good. And then you can also go ahead and fill this in right here with purple concrete because that just happened to be the block that I have in my inventory. And bam, it, it can be a really nice touch to your base, I believe. So, uh, this is for, uh, this part from like one point. This is a simple, really easy. This part works in almost all versions of Minecraft, but this is my updated one for 1.16 and above. I know it works in this one, in 1.16, because I've used it. And hopefully, in the future, you can probably even do more things with it using the new blocks coming out in 1.17, which, if you guys want, I can show you how to do that when 1.17 comes out with those new. Uh, sense sensor blocks where it basically it senses your movement and activates. That's pretty much it, guys. It pulls all the way back. Now you may notice it may be like a little delayed, but you can't really notice it, and that's just because of the repeater right there. That's always going to happen. You can't really fix that that much, but you don't really notice it. If someone really picks on you, then I don't I don't know. Just probably ignore them because <laughs> it's a dumb reason to complain about something. <laughs> But uh, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys. This is what it looks like on my Venus Oval. It goes over and out. And this uses target blocks actually at the top, which I showed you guys. Which you can go back if you want to see that. But bam, and bam, easy just like that. And it looks really nice on your base. And I have it on the back. You can. It's really easy to make it identical on both sides. And uh, that, that's pretty much it guys, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel because it really helps a lot. And also, if you didn't know this, it's, it's really simple, right? Subscribing is free, I know, it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that, and uh, hope you guys have a good day whenever you're watching this. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video, it really helps a lot, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Wow.